Good morning, YouTube. For those of you that are happy to see the boat, well, we're gonna be working on it again today. For those of you that are not happy to see the boat, well, we're gonna be working on the boat again today. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan. We are at Adam's garage, and Adam's actually working on his Porsche, doing an oil change. We've actually done a video about the Porsche oil change. So if you wanna go see that, go check the video history on this channel. But today we got a few things to do in the boat, so it's not perfect, obviously. I bought a kind of messed up 1995 boat. So yeah, nothing's gonna be working. Well, not nothing, but you know, there's definitely a lot of things not working correctly, including the lights and the radio. So we're gonna try and do some wiring work today. Hopefully it's not gonna be too difficult. But before we get into that real quick, if you wanna support this channel, go check out normalguysupercar.com. There you can buy parts and services for supercars and actually we're gonna have stuff for boats too and we have stuff for porsches coming so go check out all that use the code ngs10 it knocks off 10 percent so save yourself 10 percent off of almost everything in the store let's check out what we got wrong with this thing all right so let me show you what's going on so we have a bunch of the panel switches and so when you flip on certain switches you'll see like they obviously come on so like uh, panel lights work, well, all of the lights work in these gauges except for the trim gauge. So that light I think might be just burnt out, but the uh, anchor light, it comes on, but I need to test that one. And then we need to test the nav lights don't come on at all. The cabin lights, which are down here, don't come on at all. Cockpit lights actually do work. That's pretty cool. And then the engine compartment lights work as well. So the final thing is that the radio is actually just kind of like wired with some like literally jankety wires. Like you just twist those two together and then the radio comes on, but it's hardwired to the battery. So if you connect them, the radio is always on. So what I did is I bought a switch and I'm gonna actually repurpose this spot on the dash. So right now this is a toggle switch, but it's not, uh, you know, it doesn't hold. It just is uh, on off, on off. And I bought a new switch that clicks on and we're gonna replace that switch so it turns on the radio. So we're probably gonna have to pull off the dashboard or at least figure out this switch and get some wiring and that way we can run it off of the power that comes to the dashboard. So I think we'll be able to get that reasonably easy. Uh, the cabin lights will be a little bit tricky. The nav lights, I'm suspicious that maybe it might just be a like bulb or something. So. We're gonna try testing the light bulb and see if it's any good. All right, so I got my anchor light into the mast. Let's flick the switch and see if it turns on. Oh, well, no light. Yeah, I guess we need to find out if there's power going back there or if my little anchor light thing is just lying to me. All right, we're gonna use a voltmeter and plug it into those leads down there and see if we have 12 volts coming back here. I have no idea which one's positive or negative, but we'll just poking in there. Oh, I don't know if I can fit both these in there at the same time. Ah, I won't be able to fit them both in there. Well, I'll be darned. I stuck it in a little further and the rear light came on. Uh, the front light is definitely hosed. Uh, you can see this thing's like breaking off. So yeah, uh, we'll try sticking it back in, but I think maybe I just didn't have it in far enough, which is entirely possible. All right, so the rear one definitely is working. I even swapped bulbs. So both bulbs seem to work. I think maybe it's, I need to hit the nav switch. Let's try that real quick. Well, given how beat up this thing is, I'm just gonna replace it anyway, cause it's, uh, it's all messed up. So we'll just put a new mast in and, and I think it'll be better. All right, so I just ordered a new light pole since my other one's all jankety. So that'll take care of that. So let's move on to the front nav lights. Actually, before we do real quick, I wanna try and get this light to work. So let's pop that sucker off. All right, got the two screws out. Okay, it's got like a little gasket, which I'm willing to bet that that gasket is not sealing anymore. So I probably wanna replace that gasket. It's uh, pretty dry. Good news is the wiring is right there. So let's take a look if I can get this out somehow. Let's see, without damaging it. I don't wanna be, you can feel it's like pretty ancient. I don't wanna break anything. Adam dropped something very loud. It frightened me. Okay, let's try this guy. I think this will fit in there. Oh yeah. That's what we wanted. There. Haha. <laughs> that bulb doesn't look like it's good. <laughs> let's make sure we're still getting voltage back here. 
Hmm. I don't see any volts. The tiniest bit of voltage. I wonder if it needs to be cleaned up. It's pretty corroded in there. Yeah, and that will increase the resistance by a shitload. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to get it right on the clean spot. I mean, I guess the real question would be, is there even power coming to these wires? Yeah. Unless you should just take off the crimps and see. Yeah. That doesn't look like it's a factory crimp. I don't think so. I mean, they're two different styles. Yeah. So this thing's been replaced at some point. The glass on this is in horrifying shape. You can't even like hardly see out of it. All right, so we're just gonna cut these and uh, see if we actually have some voltage. These are some janky wire cutters. Yeah, <laughs> At least you admit it. It's registering, like, if that's right, it's 0 0.006 volts. That doesn't seem right. All right, we're gonna take apart the front nav light as well and check on the light bulbs in this one. As long as we're doing it, let's like get them all. It is really, really hot out. Oh, it's just, wow. Look at this awesome dirt. Dirt is awesome. Can I get that up enough? Okay, there it goes. Let's like take this apart. All right, that looks pretty corroded. Well, let's check for voltage. If there's any voltage in there. That wire is kind of mangled. The nice thing is, is there's actually exposed wire. So oh, you nice. Can... Yeah, I can test it, test it right on the wire. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is just check if there's any resistance in the light bulb. None. Oh. Okay. It does actually go through, so the bulb might still be okay. Let's try the wiring. 0 0.05 volts. That's what the other one was showing. I'm thinking. So you I think have the a... dash. Yeah. I think the dash has a short. So this light actually might be okay, although it's in bad shape. Well, let's, let's take a look at the dash. Alrighty, so here's under the dashboard and actually the factory wiring's pretty organized. You can see they got it zip tied really nice and tight right there and it travels over here and comes to all my switches. So up here at the top is my nav light switch, which switching it doesn't do anything. If you notice the light below it, the anchor switch, woo, turns on the little light. So I don't know if it's the light that's broken out or if it's the actual switch. So we're gonna need to take that and figure out which one it is. So uh, I'm trying to figure out what's the best option here. Maybe I just disconnect that actual switch from the panel and get the wires out and take a look. Oh, uh, that's funny. So like this here, this wire here actually broke off from the pin on the switch. So I just hit that switch and hit the nav switch. And, and Adam, you can see Adam's feet. He just checked and said there's 12 volts on the back of it. Well, let's go check the front nav light and see if that works now. If so, it looks like I might need to replace the switch. Test it for me. Test it, baby. 12 volts. 12 volts. You want to pop in that light bulb and see if it turns on? Ah, we have light. I saw I turn it. it off so I can yeah, yeah, don't zap the you. The light gets hot. Super yeah, yeah, hot. I'll turn it off. Oh, I broke the light. Did you really? Maybe. All right, hold on. You did? Yeah. Damn you! <laughs> All right, I guess I need a light bulb. Well, that's fine, I'll switch it to an LED. That's funny. Oops. Oopsies. <laughs> so we we're uh, trying to get this switch off, and it's being a bastard, but then we were fucking with the horn, and we finally got to work. We found the horns. They're actually just car horns right down here, but they're being super temperamental. So <laughs> Adam's working on that one. We're, uh, we think we might have to just rewire the clip. It looks like maybe the clip's kind of messed up. Oh, that's both of them. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I have horns now. Woohoo! So, so far, almost everything that's been wrong with this boat it's has just, just been wiring, shoddy wiring. Yeah, shoddy wiring. It's just, and people, that's about what you'd figure with the boat, right? I guess whoever owned this before didn't really uh, know what they were doing or just Well, they probably didn't care. Yeah, I'm guessing just didn't care. Oh. All right, well, we got horn. How loud is it with the hatch down? It's not very loud. It's pretty, uh, here. You would think that there would be like a minimal decibel that they had to have. All right, ready? It's loud enough. 
Come on your way! It sounds like a uh, like a party, like the La Cucaracha horn. La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! They died again. Yeah, it's got to be a wire. All right, let's just redo the wires. I think we got to redo those clips. Maybe. I, I wonder maybe if it's the terminals on the horns themselves too. I mean, I could just buy new horns. I should get some big old air horns. Yeah. Because that'd be annoying. Alrighty, so here's my broken switch and we can see this little tab busted off. So the switch still works great and they're expensive. They're like 30 bucks. So I'm gonna try and repair it. So what we're gonna do is try and use a punch and punch that metal piece back over it and then probably just literally glue it. Like Gorilla Glue, hot glue, something so it just stays in place. I think that's really all it needs. Here. Oh, beautiful. You're so smart, Adam. <laughs> that was brilliant. I have my moments. Yeah, that was a good moment. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do this somehow. Put that just right. How's it hold? Oh, dude. Yeah, I would still. Yeah, let's let's put some glue over it just so it's uh, really tight. But that's exactly what it needed. All right, we just got a little bit of epoxy. I'm just gonna dab it on there. Surgery. Oh, oh no. There we go. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do. That should hold it in place pretty good. All right, so we'll just let that dry for a few minutes. This switch that I pulled out is like a intermittent switch and it actually connects to the GPS. So I don't know exactly what it does. It's still connected down here dangling. I'm gonna put it back in the dash, but I'm gonna leave it out for a second because I'm gonna drill a new hole for a new switch that is a on off switch. I'm gonna use this to turn on and off the stereo. Cause right now the stereo is literally hardwired straight to the battery. Brilliant. <laughs> I know, brilliant, <laughs> ah. Does it work? Give it to the battery. I'm just gonna put a new hole right here next to it. So then I'll have the GPS switch and then I'll have a battery switch. So like right there. Adam's getting me the vacuum. While he's doing that, I did pull off this rear light. And I was like, oh, hey, we should get this rear light to work because that'd be cool to have light right there. And uh, yeah, someone just like literally cut the wires off the light and just taped them up. So, um, <sighs> all right, we'll try and get that to work too because that'd be nice to have light there. Alrighty, got that first switch. So this, I don't know if it's like a reset or what. Uh, see, it's like a, but it's connected to the GPS, so. Whatever, uh, I'll leave it connected. So before we wire up the stereo, I'm gonna put in the nav light switch since we got that all nice and epoxied. So I'm just gonna reconnect the wires, pop it into the dash, and we should be good to go on that one. Good oh. go, Dan. Thanks, I was just about to do the wiring and we tested the ohms one more time to make sure the switch was good. And then I popped the thing off. So clearly we did not attach it with enough epoxy. So I think part of it's the epoxy is taking a long time to dry because of the humidity today. So we're gonna put some more epoxy, let it dry a little bit longer. Then we'll do that switch. So I guess we will do the uh, stereo wire first. So this is the jankity wire that is attached to the stereo that actually turns the stereo on. This is a power wire that, um, well, I think is wired directly to the battery. So when I connect those, the stereo turns on. There is a bunch of other wires that are just dangling here and I'm gonna clip anything that is just dangling like this thing and does not appear to be connected to anything. This is the only one I really care about. So what I'm gonna have to do is extend that wire all the way over to the switch panel to that new hole and then run the wire back over to the stereo. So that should be pretty easy. I'm gonna use a heat gun to get a good connection though. So we got our wires connected. My new wires run. So these two are connected to the switch and we're gonna get that one last. So I'm just gonna get these two first. So here we go. All right, and just to make sure, hit the switch. Jackpot. Jackpot. Yay! Stereo. Woo! That's so cool. All right, so now we gotta just put this in the dash. Carefully. Okay. That goes through. Your big hand is in the way, Dan. Sorry. I'd be a terrible porn star. Oh, look at that. 
Power on. Ooh, fancy. Stereo. Nice. Yay. That's so much better. We're getting somewhere. All right, so here is the little light pod that goes kind of on the back of the engine bay facing into the cabin, and I'm gonna try and get this so it works again. So what I'm gonna do is just simply rewire some new little uh, wire things, and uh, then I'm gonna reconnect the wires and do a that heat wrap, because right now it's literally some wire nuts, which is probably not very good for a marine environment. <laughs> so we'll use some heat shrink stuff, and uh, that should make it better. All right, check it out, cockpit lights. There, there, and there. Heck yeah, those are working now. Totally had to rewire that giant bundle of crap. It was just total rat's nest. Now I used uh, the heat shrinks, you know, solder thingies. So I think we get, don't have to worry about it. Shorting out with like water and stuff. So much better. Yes, now let's put back in the nav lights. All right, got my new nav light switch in and 12 volts, yay! 12 volts, yay! I need to buy a new light bulb, yay! Yep, but we got 12 volts. Woohoo! <laughs> hey, YouTube. So, uh, I think I found out what's on with the cabin lights. The wire itself that feeds the switch, I put a new fuse in there and it blew the second I put the fuse in. So the wire, and the wire is disconnected from the switch, so the wire itself is screwed. So I'm just gonna rerun a new wire. Sweet. All right, check it out. Cabin lights, well, one of them's on. I think the bulbs burn out in the other one. Look at it. So I turned on the switch. There's a switch on the back of it. And it came on. So there's a switch on each light? I guess so. Let me check this one. So there's a switch on the dash and then a switch on each light. This one, the switch is pushed in, so you can't actually get to it. But this one, the switch is sticking out. Huh. All right. Well. Yay. I have a cabin. Stabbing cabin. The stabbing cabin. I should put some of this crap up here. Whew. All right, well, that kind of solves all the wiring needs for the day. So I just need to get some fuses and some light bulbs. And horns. And some horns. All right, well, I'll call that a success. Yay! Yay! Spirit fingers. These are not spirit fingers. These are spirit fingers. All right, well, for those of you that don't care about boats, too bad. For those of you that do, Hopefully you enjoyed this. It's kind of like a car, it just floats. It's still got the same things, wires and engines and stuff. So if you wanna support this channel, you can do so by going to normalguysupercar.com. We do appreciate when you guys do it because that's literally our job. So you are helping- keep, how we make money. Yes, you're keeping us able to do this and paying our bills, so thank you so, so much. We genuinely do appreciate it. Also, don't forget, we have the Thursday night live every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Central, so check that out. We have a project car coming very, very soon. It's epic, you're gonna wanna see this. It's gonna be right there very, very soon. So stay tuned for all that. You guys are amazing, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. It's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be sweet. So we are just parking the boat here in his garage underneath the uh, pot factory, as it were. And uh, you gotta see the clearance on this. So uh, here is, you can see the dirt line where the door goes. So it's basically gonna have like a maybe a couple millimeters and then you go back here and this is insane watch this that's how much clearance you have <laughs> so yeah this is about as tight and squeeze as it gets oh yeah just you bumping the boat made it get closer <laughs> see if it closes Oh yeah, plenty of room. Yeah, you got it.